Welcome back to the Raising the Standard show. We're so glad that you're joining us. Man, I was blessed by that, and I know that you are at home. And we're back here with Esmeralda Sanchez and Imani Yvette Santana, and we're just excited to talk about how to overcome insecurity. So we've right. talked about common insecurities, but now we want to talk about how we can overcome and equip students for that. So we'll start with Esmeralda. When you think about students overcoming insecurities, what tips can you provide? Sure, well I think a lot of Latino and minority students face a lot of cultural and societal uh, factors that contribute to these insecurities. Mm. So we have this concept of respeto. Right. So you don't really question authority, you don't question your mom or your or, mm. or uh, those in authority and so sometimes s students can have uh, insecurities about asking questions in class mm. and, or voicing their opinion or their thought um, mm -hmm. on a subject in a discussion group in their in their classroom. Mm -hmm. So one, of, one way to overcome that is, is one to realize that you have have a voice mm -hmm. and oh, that it's good. not disrespectful to ask a question or mm -hmm. to say uh, hey I have a question or I'm not sure about this particular subject or to voice your opinion about certain uh, a discussion that you're having so right. uh, one one of those things is to remember that you do have a voice yeah. uh, in the classroom to use that voice or even if you're feeling embarrassed or back to that shame um, to be able to say I'm feeling sometimes I think students feel uncomfortable saying I'm getting bullied or mm -hmm. I'm I'm embarrassed in class because I don't understand, yes. but it's okay to tell the safe adults in your life that. So I think that's really an important one to remember. Yeah. That's good. What about uh, when you're thinking about parents and money event, what would you tell parents when it comes to helping their student overcome those insecurities? Well, absolutely, just having those conversations about mm -hmm. who they are in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that is just fundamental to know your identity mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the enemy wants to rob us of our identity as mm -hmm. children of yep. God. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. having those conversations daily with your children, mm -hmm. praying every day with them, mm -hmm. declaring uh, victory in their life mm -hmm. in all areas That's of good. their life every day. So I think that that's as, as a Christian parent, I think yeah. that's number one. Yeah. And number two, just a lot of communication. Mm. You're not going to know a lot of times what's happening unless you kind of get it out of them. Observe them, yeah. you know, talk mm -hmm. with them, number one. If yeah. they can give, give it to you and, and articulate it, awesome. But if not, you know your child. Yeah. You know when something's not right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, and, and, and just kind of go from there. And I, and I would say as a parent, then be, be prayerful. Yeah. For, and allow the Holy Spirit to give you discernment to kind of yep. get to what's happening in your child if they're not, you know, offering it up to you. Yeah. And I believe that the Lord would reveal that to us as parents right. as well. Okay. As, I'm sorry. What if you're like a quiet parent? You know, we have some parents who are not as communicative. What, what advice would you give them if they are maybe a little uncomfortable having those conversations? I would say then we all would have hopefully a person yeah. that we can go to, mm. yeah. a friend, yep. a neighbor, uh, you know, somebody in church, right. a right. comadre, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so somebody that we know yeah. that isn't timid, yeah. right. that will go with us to the school and That's have good. that parent-teacher conference That's and good. not go alone. That is so because good. Because just like there's kids that are afraid to ask questions, a lot of Latino parents, especially mm, when they're monolingual good. and only speak Spanish, yeah. right. 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 we are taught to be respectful to authority. Wow. Yeah. So we won't ask we won't question however we've got to get somebody there with us that yeah. understands this culture yes. right. and that understands right. that teachers are there to help us mm, good. That is so and good. have so, have somebody partner with you if you're not comfortable yeah. to yeah. ask the difficult questions yeah. the school really is there to help yeah mm -hmm. wow that's such good advice well thank you for sharing with us and we're excited to get you um, a little bit more information about how you can get involved in this national conversation taking place around education equality so watch this and find out how you personally can get involved. I think that our biggest problem uh, with our education system is that in different school districts, different states, uh, the goalposts are in different locations. The kids are just not receiving the same quality of education that they do in certain districts. Welcome back to the Raising the Standard show. You know, we've been talking about overcoming insecurity in right. the classroom right. and as it pertains to education. What a great show. I mean, we've gotten a lot of incredible, Good not help. just concepts, but mm -hmm. really practical tips for both students and parents. Right. What stands out to you? Well, I think what's really important, what I heard from Imani Yvette and also a little bit from Esmeralda, is that, is that um, to remind kids, to remind moms and dads mm -hmm. that Jesus died on the cross for them. Yeah. They're so important. Mm -hmm. 
They might not think they're important, but they're so important to God yeah. that He sent His Son to die on the cross for them. Mm. Boy, that's empowering. Yeah. That just frees you up to say, gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm important enough that God sent His Son to die for me. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that helps me overcome a lot of fear right there. Yeah, that God loves us and He values yes, us. That His yes. love is actually showing us how much He I'm values important. us. I'm yeah, important. absolutely. Yeah. That was that a great point sense. for today. I think the identity in Christ piece is so, mm -hmm. like, kind of to that point that when we know who we are in Christ, then that makes right. us not as fearful of tests right. because it's we're not looking to the test to show us yeah. who we are. We right. know that it's Christ who shows us right. Right. who we are. And right. I just think right. that that was really powerful. I think also something that Imani Yvette just mentioned was if you're a quieter parent or a quieter caretaker mm -hmm. and you feel a little uncomfortable asking those questions, get with someone that yes. you trust who yes. understands this educational culture to go with right. you or maybe right. who dominates the language a little bit better for right. you. So um, there are resources. God is putting people in your path right. to help you That's with right. whatever obstacle you're facing today. And so we want to encourage you at home that regardless of whatever obstacle you're facing today, God is going to provide right. someone right. or something to help you overcome that He's so that you can yep. walk into your purpose and your path because we're only here on earth for this itty bitty That's amount right. of time, right. but it is connected to our eternal purpose. And so we believe that raising the standards in our home is a part of that. We want to encourage you to continue to do that. Help your students to love the Lord with all of their minds. We'll see you next time. Amen.